I was a fish, I would be right there where she's fishing at. Right there, she knows. She knows how to catch them. Look what she caught. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. Let's wait for this whopper, okay? Have it your way. challenge um, it's it's roughly actually like right about five pounds uh, because they put eight Nathan's hot dogs on it um, chili but it's a big bread and enough veggies or toppings to make it five pounds so I like it when they if it's four pounds yeah they would make it try to make it right at five so it's like uh, five maybe five or all what they say about what people say about five pounds that means it's maybe ten pounds about means whatever uh, or like but um we have i think i have 45 minutes maybe 30 to 45 minutes to eat it it just started like maybe on this location like a day maybe not a day or two ago that person video. that I video came out i think so okay yeah because the guy got like three quarters of the way through he did a pretty good job but um i'm going to do this one they have a white out winners i think to open up in st louis i tried to do a promo there they wasn't having it so Hopefully, they might see this one and have me do it in St. Louis. So, um, I don't know if they're franchised or what, but there's some. In, the first one I knew of, there was in, like, Florida, or there's, there's, there's scattered all about. So, it's not just, like, in one little group. It's, like, different states, maybe Atlanta or something, too. But uh, we're just going to get there and um, do a promo today. Hopefully, we got a big crowd. Um, this is the only time really I had to do it. I didn't want to do it too late. Best time to do these are like 6 p.m. because people's off work and stuff. Um, she's already eating right here. I'm hungry, but she's already eating. This is the Chinese room from Guacamole. Uh, guacamole. Guacamole. I keep saying guacamole. I, I keep thinking that that game. Guacamole. Guacamole. It's guacamole. And um, maybe he, he did that. I should have asked him the name because maybe he got that name from that. But um, he noticed us when we was at the um, uh, festival. festival, the Los Castina, was it Los Castina? Yeah. Uh, Jalapeno Festival in uh, Laredo, Texas, um, that we just got back from. And he noticed me inside, his eyes got big, and like, I'm, I'm like, I'm just a regular guy. But I, I still get that where people, people like to say, they notice me and they see me on pictures and stuff. And, it's really weird to me still because I'm just like just a regular person. Um, but she um, she's eating some of that that's left over. And other than that, we was gonna go fishing today, but it's raining. We're still maybe still work you know wondering about the rain. So the telescopic poles still in the trunk and the lures are in here. So if the weather permits, somebody will be doing some fishing. I'll just videotape the superstar fisherman without any videos on your channel right now. <laughs> so, I was following this GPS and I will update you if anything occurs on the road. If not, we will see you when we get there.
Hey, I'm here um, at the Whacked Out Wieners now, and they have a lot of different um, choices on the wall of hot dogs. They are really popular here. When the doors open, they start getting packed full quick. Um, but they have like peanut butter and jelly. They have the uh, all the toppings you can put on it are not normal. Some of them aren't normal. Um, you can do the peanut butter, um, what is it, celery salt. What's the other one you just saw in here? Fruity Pebbles. Where's that at? Over there, where is it? I like pictures. Oh, there we go. I like pictures. I'm not good at the uh, the words. Yep, peanut butter and jelly. Oh my goodness. They got all different kind of uh, sauerkraut here. Okay. Well, I'll let uh, the owner, Mike, uh, tell me what's all on um, the challenge when they get started, okay? So give us a little bit and we'll, we'll get started. Okay, I'm here with Mike, the owner. He's making this sandwich, and I like to see a scale there. I got one in my trunk, and sometimes when I get pulled over, it gives me a problem. <laughs> yes, most, people, most people don't weigh up food on the road. All right, there's a lot of people in here already, as you see. They just opened up, they get really busy. I'm gonna try to do this really quick so everybody doesn't have to wait as long. And uh, did you want it? And what's your name? Hunter. Hunter, and um, you think I can get this thing done maybe? Maybe. Maybe, okay. I don't know. Well, Hunter, I'm gonna try to do this for you. I'm gonna try to at least do it in under, like maybe 15 minutes or less. <laughs> you get 30 minutes, so I'm not gonna take a nap. Yeah, that's fine. All right, all right, well, let me, uh, let me get started because everybody's hungry here and I'm gonna hurry up and get this going. Okay, I'm going to let you guys know this is a vlog, um, but if you want to see this video, this video will post in a few days, um, right around March the 8th or so. So check that video out. Oh, that was good. So, I mean, you taste it? Yeah, it tastes really good. I mean, people say, can I taste it? But as long as it touches your tongue, you can taste it. Especially, excuse me, five pounds. I didn't see your lights in your world. Right here. Nope. Excuse me. I was going to show him this water thing and I'm going to have to this like two seconds. They didn't be here for a long time. Yeah. Look, David, you went to a Fred's game the other day. Uh, hey, Hunter, you want to see a trick? I'm about, to, I'm about to drink this water in like two seconds. You don't think I can? All right, well, come around here. I need to get your response on camera. All right, I'm about, I'm about, to, I'm about to down this water. You got it good? Okay. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got it. No. 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 Alright. Well, alright, thanks everybody for watching. Hope I discussed anybody. I'll try to do it as clean as possible. So definitely like to do it another day, guys. Thank you. Appreciate all right. it. All right. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for coming out and checking us out. Go stop awesome. recording. Hey, about to leave. Maybe we'll try to get some fishing in. We're gonna check the radar and see what's up with that. But we had a really good time in there. Um, I really, <laughs> this guy must want some wieners because he just pulled up on that curb with that truck and backed it up. Yeah, he was like, whoop. But um, yeah, they had really, that, that people say, hey, um, did you taste it because you ate it so quick? I don't care who you are, five pounds of anything, you're gonna taste it one, one time or the other. 
but uh, as long as it touches your tongue, uh, then you're gonna taste it. Really? Nothing. I'm talking about the food, guys. But uh, I know where you're gonna go with that, so I had to, I had to make sure you knew. Um, <clears throat> But we had a really good time. I really appreciate Hunter there. He was really into it. Um, so uh, he had the, the, the wheels on his uh, uh, wheelchair uh, lit up. And I saw that because uh, Ben one leg high mechanic had his and that's the first time I saw those. But when I noticed those, that's what I thought about. So. Oh, Ben got light up wheels too. Yep, I don't know if he still does, but um, he, he did have them. So I think he might still have them. Okay, well, we're out of here, and I'm really appreciative, Mike, uh, the owner of this one. And uh, hopefully, if you guys want to go to Facebook and inbox St. Louis Whacked Out Wieners, tell them there's a guy that'll do the challenge. Me. So, tell them about this one. We are at a disclosed location. Um, about to do a little bit of fishing today. We asked, we found a fishing spot here somewhere in Tennessee. Okay, you pulled my leg. It's called Lake Wapachilli. We are at Lake Wapachilli. All of this is all Lake Wapachilli. So uh, we're gonna go see if we can catch anything in here. Uh, we got one telescopic pole, so I'm gonna let the pro fisherman fish and I'm gonna be the camera person and the bait putter owner, something like that. So stay tuned for a whopper. your stuff no you put some on my jacket you're a liar no you are what you put on my jacket nothing it's just a <laughs> <laughs> you <ain't sweet. laughs> well i tried maybe next time wow this this Lake Wapachilli is really crystal clear. Let me get you a closer look. You see in the water here? These are lily pads. The water's down a little bit, but should be a lot of lily pads and a lot of crappie, a lot of crappie up under here when it's uh, fully flourished. But she has her own little thing. I think she might go to the end of this dock and fish or go to another one. I think that little one over there, she's a walker. Her legs are longer, so I'm gonna be a little bit behind her. We're gonna have to get a couple other telescopic poles. Huh? Too late. I can jump it. You think my legs are that short? What's wrong with her? She doesn't know that I'm a professional water puddle jumper as well. See that? Wasn't much. She's sightseeing. I'm just trying to get to this other, other spot. She's going through the grass muddy grass oh I can't even take a picture of that the Lake Wapachilli it's uh they say no cameras oh look at that you didn't tell me there was freaking water right here Jesus the, these crocs has holes in it and these are not I don't know why they make the camouflage ones with holes they should make no holes in them but now my socks are wet I didn't know that there was water from there to there Jesus. Worst thing to have is wet socks. I'm gonna rest, mess my whole fishing experience up. But I'm not fishing today, so I'll just wring them out and wear it. no socks. Wet. Hope I don't catch pneumonia. Walking pneumonia. 
if they have running pneumonia. Running. You know I was gonna say that? Cause I'm stupid. Say it. Oh, my bench doesn't look like it's seatable. Like a moldy. That, look, that looks sketchy over there. Don't it? Don't look, that rail looks sketchy. It's like sideways. Don't or go? Oh. Yeah, this one looks a little better because you're further out there. Maybe you're further out there from the lily pads and the, the sticks and stuff. She usually catches sticks, especially with my hooks. That's her hooks, actually, is my pole. She can't find her telescopic pole. I'm not sure what, she, what happened to it. I didn't do nothing to it. It's like a newer deck right here. Yeah, I got the deck, the torque head screws. Oh yeah, this water is really clean. It's like the cleanest little lake I've been to in a long time. You can just see there's no fish, so you don't even have to worry about fishing. That's what I'm <laughs> oh, if I was a fish, I would be around that trunk right there. Right there. I'll be I would not. If I was a fish, I'm telling you now because I know how fish think and everybody thinks they know how fish think. But the water right here I would not be in if I was a fish. If I was a fish, I would be like only right there. I would stop right here and I would like live right up in here and wait for good old fish bait to come on in. And um, Jose Yellowfeather Espinosa would probably fish by these columns right here. Yep, that's where he'll be at. So, but we're gonna be out there, not down there. Over there, what are you what are you thinking about this lake? I'm thinking ain't no fish in it. Oh wow! <laughs> so she catches one, she's gonna be really surprised. Are we taking them home? I got a bucket in the back. Sure. We could figure it out. Smell a little fishy in there. But take one for the team. We had to roll the windows down and cut the heat on. We down. Well, we'll have to figure something out. Okay, well, we're gonna have to figure some kind of vacuum seal system that we have and put it in a bag and vacuum seal it and take it with us. Some, huh? Do they have something like that? They probably do. If they do, comment below, let us know. Let's get to fishing. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the, the super amount of fish we're about to catch in a little bit. Get to work. Third. Go, oh, GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. This just in. She's making excuses already. It's too cold out here. And as you guys know, if you saw that uh, the vlog three of Texas trip, that was missing um, when she got it. So I'm just gonna let you guys know it's on it right now. So if it comes up missing, she's the last one to touch the pole. She bought it. It was a limited edition pole too. That run a lot of money. A lot of money whatever I paid for it online I think it was like 10 times more they just do it like that so uh, the tax purposes <laughs> don't have to worry about it if you don't lose it there okay what else excuses does she have I'll get back to you with the excuses in a little bit yeah you do that yep she's mad already oh already another excuse so i forgot to tell you about the water is too shallow right here the water is too shallow hey whoa what's that it's not a fish i thought it was okay no i'm not seeing fish i'm a spotter right now okay guys i'm a spotter Can't fish, you don't put it in the water. Now, but this curve too much to uh... The curve's too much for that? Yeah, I can't put that can't on. Can't get that on there? Like this, yeah. So, 
Okay, well, that's a no-go then, but we would have caught fish. We would have caught fish if we would have got that on there. I think that's, I don't know, that might be too light, too big for this little area. You think big bass would be in this little water? That's where the little fish are, so maybe big bass will be in this little water cat, catching a little fish. You gotta think like a fish. You gotta think like a fish. And people always say, do fish ever get thirsty? Like they're in the water, people. Or do they, some people, you know what, there's a myth saying fish don't get wet because there's a freaking film around it or something like that. Like there's a film around your phone, throw that in the water. How about that? But, uh, well, my phone's waterproof and so is hers. What? That? Well, don't hit it in the water. Okay. We see she tries to she's trying to. Okay, we are at the second lake that we found. This is called Lake Angle Iron. So if you can see that on the map, please come out and uh, tell us what you think about Lake Angle Iron. I'm gonna tell you now, guys, I'm just letting you know these aren't real names to lakes. I'm just making them up because a fisherman, fisher person does not tell you, this looks deeper, does not tell you where to fish at unless it's a butt nasty, not even the fish in the lake. Then they go, oh yeah, go down to the lake angle iron there. They got some good old fish in that thing over yonder. But well, we're gonna park up here and um, see about how many fish are in lake angle iron. There's two of them, lake angle woods over there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. There's a jackalope guys. The cupacabra left, but there's a jackalope right there, but the antlers just fell off. I'm gonna try to recover. I'm gonna try to recover the antlers for you guys, but you wouldn't believe it unless you saw it. You saw it here first. Not the cupacabra, but the jackalope. Right in there. I'll help you out. You can't see nothing but my finger <laughs> right there. Again, guys, this is the life of a professional eater going fishing. Yes, I got my bag so I don't throw trash away. Yes, I do bring toilet paper wherever I go. So I'm going to go use a restroom right here and um, try to hurry up. So see you in a little bit. Well, I, I just made it back down here and look, her hooks aren't just clean her pole is clean because her bobbers right over there I <laughs> uh, well I, I I got all the bad stuff because I ain't seen any good stuff <laughs> just, he don't turn the camera on until something bad happens well no um I don't know I was answering comments on the on the olive garden one they said red what well, they said, way to rope them into this. Like I made you guys eat at the same table. I said, hey, this is my job. I stopped selling dope. So I got to pay the bills unless you want to just send me money every day so I can have money for, you know, pay bills. Like, uh, when I do, when I do um, videos, people don't have to sit at the same table if they don't want. It's just, that's my job. And I don't videotape everywhere where we eat. So it's just, uh, hey, I got to work, people. Yeah, because if I was fish, I would fish right there in the middle of them. I'd be fish right there. I would gather. I would gather right there and wait for people to get their poles stuck in that wood that's like underneath the water there. You see the limbs under these? I can see the limbs under the water. Just sit there and laugh at you. Let's see, Let's see that bobber. Let's see that bobber go down. Ooh! 
That was just me. That was just me. Somebody has their pole stuck again. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know. Oh, it's in the car. You're gonna need an answer because somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck. I tried to keep calm about it, but I didn't. Now I gotta walk all the way back to the car. So I guess that five pound, five pound chili dog is gonna be uh, working it off right now. I'm gonna get my steps in, people. You good? I'll get it anyway. For next time she gets caught up. This is the lead of this one because she got caught up down there. Because I don't want to catch some positive stuff. Look, yeah, that's not a usual trying to catch a fish method. It's She caught a tree bass right up there. So I'm trying to catch positive stuff. I'm very, let's, let's be positive about this. So, okay, let me try to catch some positive stuff here. After this, after this one, we're going to see something positive. Oh, my God, I thought I was going to find something positive again. That tree she was in right there, she waited till the pendulum went like this, and then she whipped it. And guess what? She's in that tree. She's in that tree. With, hold on, I got to help you after I get this video. She's in that tree bass right there. She came from that tree bass to swing like this, and Susan went like this, she whipped it around and went, whoop, blue. Now it's in there. Hold on. Let, okay. And another guy, another guy was in there too with some weights. So there's a weights, there's a there's a lure over there. The whole tree is a Christmas tree full of fish and stuff. Hold on, don't break it. Let me help her out. I gotta go. Okay, we found some positive stuff. We are headed home. That's positive. Huh? You said that's positive. It's positive right now. Because you keep getting hung up in trees so we need to save some lures and everything there's some tree they make some tree lures that like treeless they got weedless they got <laughs> tree, treeless treeless uh lures let's we're gonna we're gonna patent that hey ashi treeless lures head at home guys so see you in a little bit whatever we're doing next except mess with trees
now maybe she, on the way back from Texas, she kept seeing some Silverados. Those were nice looking trucks. Um, and those are running like 2020s. I think basic models might be 28,000 or so. Um, but still don't know. So you're, you're kind of not going towards a car, probably a I'm SUV or a, a car. Okay. So an SUV, SUV it's strong, maybe a Ford Explorer, maybe. Maybe a maybe a Chevrolet Jeep truck, Cherokee. Silverado, Wait. or a Jeep Cherokee. So they're still 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 kind of narrowing it down. So we'll kind of know more today of what really um, price range we're going with, and then she can look uh, for what she wants to do. And she asked me, I'm just here to try to give a little bit, you know, here and there what uh what like my my two cents worth of what I think so but it's her decision it's her money her deal so uh but like I was saying about a car you know about the, the tow thing on the tow package on the car people are like oh you can't tow another car if you knew what we was towing it was just going to be like a little bitty 200 pound camper I mean like a little 200 pound u-haul type thing just to haul fishing equipment so you don't have fishing equipment in the car like a cooler uh, poles and stuff like that so um, any three cylinder car is going to pull that. Uh, people tell me I didn't know about cars. I know a little more than you think I do. I don't want to fix on everybody's car, so I don't, I got to play stupid sometimes. But I don't overhaul transmissions or anything like that. Um, but I can do, I can do pretty much change radiators and everything else. But uh, I worked in the car industry for probably eight to 12 years. Um, for, uh, a, a professional fluid preventive maintenance specialist like an oil change guy <laughs> but we, we know a little bit about cars we don't just hey it takes four and a half cars to own but sometimes you don't tell people what you know so everybody's like oh Brandon knows how to do this stupid play stupid sometimes you don't play sometimes I don't play but Mark seeing on state. All right, let's get to the credit union and see what they say. I will leave the milkman mask in the car. She might want me to go in with the milkman mask. It will be the last time you see the milkman. So. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X. Uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are Canvas. Uh, they are thick. They are soft. The logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed materials, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans.